Hi everyone, today I've got another empties video and I've been really good at using up products recently. The first makeup product I have used up is this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Translucent Powder. This is the just the original translucent one. I mentioned it in a favourites video a few months ago. I would definitely get this again in the future, although I probably won't be getting it anytime soon because I've got a couple more powders on the go and there's a couple more I want to try but I would highly recommend this if you just want a simple lightweight natural looking loose powder for like day to day use. From my pro kit I used up a waterproof false lash effect. This had dried out and needed to be thrown out and I have repurchased it. This is the only mascara I'm using in my kit at the moment. The formula of this is really great because it doesn't smudge and it is waterproof so it's really suitable for brides or any sort of occasion makeup. My Batiste Dark Deep Brown Dry Shampoo, I've not repurchased this yet but I will. I absolutely love this stuff, it's great for hiding roots when they grow through and if you're like dark brown hair like me and you hate the white greyish cast that a lot of dry shampoos leave, this is like the perfect solution to that so I love it. I have used up a casting creme gloss conditioner from the L'Oreal casting creme gloss semi permanent hair dye. That is one of my favourite hair dyes and this is probably one of the best conditioners I've used in hair dye kits. It's just a good enough size for like a couple of uses, on me anyway, probably more if you have shorter hair. And it smells nice and it makes my hair really smooth and silky. And another conditioner I've used, which I wasn't so keen on, was the L'Oreal, again, <laughs> Ever Pure conditioner. This is one of their sulfate free ranges, and I much prefer the Ever Riche, I think it's called, the gold and white packaging. That has a nicer smell, and this one is Rosemary and Mint, which isn't my thing, it might be for you, it's much more of like a fresh menthol kind of smell I'm not keen and I've used up one of my Liz Earl Sweet Orange and Mint Hot Cloth Cleansers. This was the limited edition scent at Christmas time. I did really like this but I am happy that I have the original now just because I think I prefer the scent of the original and I also found the orange slightly irritating for my eyes. Something about this formula compared to the original was just slightly more irritating if I kind of rubbed my eyes a bit too much and got a little bit in my eye and you're supposed to be able to use this to remove your makeup so I don't remove my full eye makeup using this you'll know that if you've watched my skincare routine but I do like to kind of take off any excess mascara and stuff and it did sting a little bit so it was really nice really kind of fresh and fruity and energizing great to use in the morning but I do prefer the original scent so I am putting this in my empties because I'm gonna say bye to this Tangle Teaser. It's been a few years, I think about four years I want to say, four or five years I've had this and the bristles are all starting to bend at the ends and I got a new one in the Beauty Chat Live goodie bag so I thought I would just stick this one in the recycling but I think these are absolutely worth the money. I do want to try the wet brush and the other kind of alternatives that people have used instead of this and some people prefer some other brands but I really love my Tangle Teaser and I love the kind of compactness, it's just really easy to use. I used up, sadly, my hand and cuticle cream, the Deep Comfort one from Clinique. You can tell I loved this because it's all cut up. So I literally got every last squeeze out of it and this stuff is amazing. This was a great saviour for my hands this winter because they got so dry and cracked and this was the only hand cream rich enough to really help and it is quite pricey compared to what I would usually spend on a hand cream but if I had dry hands again like that in the future I would definitely invest in this and would recommend it if dry hands is something that you struggle with because it's worth paying a bit extra to get the extra kind of oomph that this has for your hands. Finally, yeah this is the final thing, 
I've flown through these today, <laughs> is one of my handmade hand gels, again from my makeup kit. I always have these, always repurchase them. They're great, perfect size, great smell. It's difficult to find nice smelling antibac gel in the UK. It's just an antibacterial gel, it's nothing special, but it's cheap and smells good and I really like it. So that is everything in my empties for the past few months. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post videos every Monday and Friday, usually in the evening time in the UK. So hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.